What's up everybody, welcome back to the most realest, livest, hardest, stoldest YouTube channel on the planet. Did I say the realest? Yes, it's realest. We don't do that fake makeup pranks around here, man. Everything is real deal. Straight lace with no chase. If you are new to this channel, my name is Kelly Bean. And I am Lucky Lou. Don't be ahead all your life. Make sure you subscribe right now. And make sure you stay true, hit the like button, and click the little bell. And so you can get notified whenever we drop a new video. Also, make sure you watch this video to the end of the video because today, it's Friday, and if you did not know, on Fridays, we do a cash giveaway every Friday. So, we will be announcing today's winner at the end of this video, so stay tuned, because it might be you. Licky requested some popcorn. I really think you need some popcorn salt. So. Nah, I don't like salt. If you wanna know a fact about me, I like M&Ms in my popcorn. That's one fact, but. I have my peanut butter sandwich. And then a fact about me is I don't like jelly or jam or whatever. I just, I don't like it. We are about to start 10 facts about us, you guys. But before we get started, make sure you smash that like button right now because it's about to get juicy. Do you want to start? All right, I'll start. One fact about me, I look taller on camera. <laughs> Every time people see me in person, they be like, damn, I thought you was bigger. Oh, I thought you was taller. But I just look taller on camera, I guess. Are you embarrassed? No. Nope. You're blushing. I ain't blushing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm next. So my first fact is I don't know how to bake. And as much as I try, as much as I try and follow directions, the timer, the ingredients, the measurement. She can't some bake, she burns reason, everything. I can't. Like, it just does not come out for me. Cookies, brownies, anything. Muffins. To break, it's cupcakes. Gonna, it's gonna burn. I, I just don't know why. I could bake some chicken, though. But anything that's like a pastry, I think, I guess. Any kind of bread or dough or <laughs> anything that's sweet. I suck at dessert. baking. I just don't know how. It doesn't work out for me. My next fact, if you did not know, I am a recovering alcoholic. My name is Lucky and I'm a recovering alcoholic. And I went to the AA program. No, yeah, I went to AA and I passed the whole 12 step program and got out. I had a sponsor. I just kept having bad experiences and every time the alcohol, the common denominator in this was alcohol. And I kept wrecking cars, um, Getting into fights, uh, going to jail. Damn, you used to fight, babe? Yeah, when I was drunk. You know, when dudes get drunk, but yeah, you start trying to. Get, man, when I get drunk, I think I'm eight feet tall. And I just start <laughs> trying to fight everybody. <laughs> I had to stop getting drunk like that. So, anyway, I was I had, was on probation because I got a DWI. I woke up in jail and I was like, man, I need to get my life together. That was part of my probation. I had to go to these alcohol classes. And I had to go to AA and all that. And I and I some people just go because they're on probation, but I was really there like trying to take it serious. And it worked. Like I never I never even knew what the 12 step program was or none of that. And I didn't know what the um, the sponsor what the sponsor does. They make you sit down and you have to write like all this bad stuff that you carry inside of you, all the resentment that you have towards like things from your childhood and just things that you've been carrying around and you're trying to like just get rid of it with drugs and alcohol. So I did that and I didn't realize I had so much inside of me that I was carrying around until I wrote it all on the paper and then you talk about it with your sponsor and after that he crumbled up the paper, threw it in the trash and then we just, you know, I continued on and I ended up going for like, after I was sober for like, they give you a chip like every month 
and I was like, I got my six month chip, and then I just, I just felt like I had it, like all together. I was like, cool, I don't gotta go no more. But I still would go every now and then. I would go, but I didn't, I used to go like every day on, of the week. I would go, and when you go there and you start listening to other people's stories, what it is, everybody sits in a room, and they call on each other like. I, I say my how I'm feeling today, my story, and then I point at somebody, and they tell their story. But every time they pointed at me, I couldn't talk. I didn't know what to say. I was just like, I didn't, I didn't feel comfortable talking, so I just wouldn't talk. I'd be like, I ain't got nothing to say. But I would listen, and everybody would tell their story, and there was a lot of old people in there that were just like, Oh, stuck up. What you mean you ain't got nothing to say? <laughs> I didn't know what to say. When I would try to talk, I would just be like, I just didn't, I didn't know how to... I didn't know how to put the words of what I was feeling yeah, to it. a room full of strangers and tell them, you know what I'm saying, who I really was and what I was going through. A lot of it had to do with my job that I was in, that I was in the music business and it was since I was a teenager and it was just party, 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 nightlife, club, VIP everywhere and all that shit, it takes a toll on you, especially when you're young and you don't really have no responsibilities and you don't, you just, you're wilding out. So I was just like, I didn't want to get into all that with them, so I just didn't talk. But it helped. So if anybody out there is going through that, I suggest, you know, saying you talk to somebody that's been through it. The one good thing about that is everybody in there is going through the same thing. So it's not like somebody judges you. That's why I made, I made my uh, mixtape called Recovery, because that's what I was going through at that time. Aww. I know he didn't know all of this, so we're learning as we go. My second fact of the day is, I, I feel like we're getting deep because his was just deep and mine is about to be super deep as well. Um, I have been robbed at gunpoint and when I tell you that I literally saw my life flash before my eyes the image i had in my head was me in a casket and my mother with analia which she was like what like one or two at the time looking at me as i'm dead so i was like literally in shock i really thought i was gonna die and it was an intense robbery it wasn't like quick it was like actually being held there with a gun to your head taking everything and don't, like not knowing whether they're gonna shoot you. But thank God that they didn't. And honestly, that wasn't my first time. That was my first time getting robbed, but that wasn't my last time getting robbed. And I, it just sucks, man, it just sucks. So that just, that that's a fact about me. And I've told him this, but I know that y'all don't know. I mean, y'all think life is perfect, but I grew up in the hood, you guys, so like you have to deal with a lot of things. Um, that's one of the things that I have to deal with, and it just sucks. Dude. My third, that's my third one, right? My third fact about me is I do not watch sports. <laughs> I'm not into sports. I never have been. I don't watch no sports. It sucks because I grew up playing sports. I like sports. I always like sports. And when I got with him, it was kind of like I would want to watch sports, and he'd be like, "Man, change that!" Hey, but go Astros, go Astros, go Astros! <laughs> All right, my third fact is I know everybody calls me Kelly Jean, but my middle name is not Jean, you guys. So my middle name is Jeanette. So my my name is Kelly Jeanette. So yeah. <laughs> I got what my Wikipedia is incorrect. If you wick, search my Dang. Wikipedia, <laughs> Lucky Lou, I mean Lucky Luciano Wikipedia is incorrect. There's a bunch of uh, incorrect statements on there. Uh, not a bunch, but a few. And uh, the one thing they got right is my name, Christian Anthony Garcia. That's my full name. My fourth fact is I am very, very, very much superstitious. I believe in like angels and like good luck or like signs or like horoscopes i just have an open mind to things you know so don't judge me i'm very superstitious i believe in aliens well i don't believe in aliens i believe aliens exist i do too like i feel like like i just said you have to be open-minded i know they exist i know I seen one. When? 
now you seem to be lying. <laughs> I seen one. When? <laughs> we ain't gonna get into all that. Anyway, all right. So moving on. My next fact is, oh my god. All right. So I used to be an altar server. You don't know what that is. Growing up a Catholic. Basically, before the mass or church starts, the priest walks to where he's gonna sit, but he's following the altar servers. There's one that carries the cross, and then the other ones carry the candles, and then, I don't know. I don't really remember the whole deal, but I used to be one of them. And it was a big deal to me because for the longest, it was only boys allowed to do it. And then all of a sudden, my church came up with the like announcements at the very end of the church saying that they're gonna allow girls to do it. And I looked at my mom and I was like, <laughs> I wanna do it. And she was like, you do? And I was like, yes. So I ended up having to go to practice every week and I did the whole spill. So yes, I was a little good church girl at one point and I even served at the church. My next one is I do not like performing live. I don't like doing shows, I don't like performing live. People might think I do, but I don't. I probably used to a long time ago, but I don't like doing them. My next one is, if you don't know, I am an artist. I don't consider myself a professional or anything like that, but I love to draw, I love to paint. I just love creating and colors and expressing myself that way, which I feel like I need to do more often because and practice makes it perfect. Rapping is therapeutic for me. That's why I do it just to, I feel like sometimes that's how I get stuff off of my chest or when I have things inside that's just, uh, you know what I'm saying? Some people like they go smoke a cigarette or they go do things. For me, rapping is therapeutic for me. That's what I do. It relieves stress. My next one is I suck at math. <laughs> Like you could legit ask me the most basic multiplication. What nine times five? I don't know. Four five. Forty five? Like I go blank. Any single time that you ask me what's this times that, I go blank. Like I just shut down. I, I can't think. Like as much as I'm trying to think, I can't think. Don't ask me. I don't know how to dance. I can't dance, my body don't move <laughs> like that. I have no rhythm when it comes to dancing. None at all, you guys. I just can't do it. <laughs> that, that's another reason probably why I don't like performing live, because you gotta like, you know, dance around on stage. Some people do dance around on stage, jump around, I don't do none of that. So, my next one is, oh my God, this is so gross, but it's like a fact about me, like, I'm so sorry, this is gonna be disgusting, but what? <laughs> I love like popping blackheads or like Gross. pimples. It I don't know. I know I'm not the only one out there. Ladies, if you if you feel me, type in the comments, let me know. I know it's gross, but I just and I you know. I got a bunch of pimples on my back you can pop. Alright, my next one is I do not know Spanish. I know a little bit, but I can't carry a whole conversation in Spanish. Yeah, he he's pretty good at the things that he does know how to say or speak. And I think you've gotten a lot better since we got together. I think y'all should all know this. I love sriracha. Like I have an obsession with sriracha. Like I can put sriracha on my pizza, on my spaghetti, on my tacos, on my eggs, on everything. So fact about me, I love sriracha. Send me some sriracha. My last one is, I don't like the claws on lobsters. I only like the tail. <laughs> so when I get my lobster and they bring me a whole lobster, I usually just leave the claws there and don't even eat it. I just only eat the tail. Fact. This last one for me concludes our 10 facts about us. So, and this one's kind of embarrassing as well, but hey, don't judge me. I have not been to the dentist <laughs> since I was pregnant with Leah and she just turned seven. Okay, while well, we was doing our little 10 facts about me, uh, Webisode, the camera uh, died. We wasn't even recording, but anyway, we was already at the end anyway, so y'all got 
the message. But it is Friday and I wanted to announce our winner for today, Kenya Perez. Shout out to you, Kenya Perez. Look out for an email coming soon from info at luchigang.com. If you want to enter the win for next Friday, go to luchigang.com. Remember, we're doing a 90-day vlog challenge. We've been doing this for like two months already. We're already more than halfway through. We, I think we only got like two or three more weeks left. I think the last day of our 90-day vlog challenge is November 4th. So go to luchigang.com if you want to enter to win. Appreciate y'all for watching. Stay tuned.